Hey everybody, this is Dr. Joe Boria with this week's Health Kick. And uh, today we're going to talk about allergies. What are allergies and, and why do they make the body feel sick? Um, changes actually are going on inside the body and what you can do to make them better. But before I do that, I just want to make an announcement. On March 24th, we do uh, Dr. Joe's famous, world famous nutrition workshop, workshop class. Uh, at our office and uh, it's something for uh, those people that are members of our practice that are watching uh, certainly we encourage you to come we encourage you to bring people that are non-members in our office so they can see what we're about and certainly uh, if they like what we have to say and they feel at home with the people that we serve we'd love to have them part of our part of our practice that would be great so it's March 24th it's a Thursday night at 6 30 uh, we feed you we only have room for about 150 people that's all we can fit uh, in the practice. So certainly uh, call the office uh, as soon as you want at 699-1441. You can use extension 10, just leave your name and number, let us know who's coming and a phone number and we actually call you the day before just a confirmation. So it should be a lot of fun, a lot of great information, a lot of life-changing information as well. We talk about weight loss, we talk about nutrition, uh, we certainly talk about the body and the nervous system and how the body's supposed to function. We talk about what the organs do in, in process of digestion and so forth. So great information. Uh, okay, that being said, let's talk about allergies. What the heck are allergies? Now when I talk about allergies, it really can encompass anything that creates an allergic reaction. Okay, so what the heck does that mean? That means that your body reacts to something that gets inside the body as if it's a foreign invader. So, for example, if I was to breathe in a virus or a bacteria or a mold, let's say, for example, right, I breathe that in, your immune system is going to react. And your immune system has a couple different ways to react. It rela reacts on a cellular yeah. It reacts on a cellular level, that's tough to say, and it reacts on a chemical level. So that's basically how your immune system works. Now what happens is when those uh, viruses, bacteria, molds, whatever get inside my body, my body does everything it can to attack that foreign invader, right, to kill it so that it doesn't make me sick. And as simple as that explanation is, uh, that's going on all the time. We don't really think about it, but right now we're constantly breathing in dust and bacteria and viruses and yes, other people's bugs and viruses and so forth. So when you breathe that stuff in, your body's fighting that stuff all off all the time. So the idea that you actually catch a cold from somebody, it's not exactly 100% accurate. What's really happening is you're coming in contact with a virus and your resistance at the time of that contact tends to be lower. So you need the virus to be present, but you also need your resistance to be low. And if those two situations hit right at the same time, you're gonna get sick. That's usually what happens, okay? So, and I can get into colds and flus and stuff another time. Man, I can go off on all kinds of tangents. But today we wanna to stay on allergies. So we talk about the immune system, it has an, everything to do with an allergy. What happens with an allergy is I'm breathing in not a bacteria, not a virus, not a mold, though you could be allergic to molds. I'm essentially breathing in proteins. Let's just look at it that way. So what I did is I grabbed a paper towel here for you. And here is a protein. When you see the pollen count, for example, it's a protein, okay? But it could be dander. You hear about dust mites, which is kind of gross, but it's an excretion of the, of the mite, which is essentially their poop, right? Kind of gross. But that's what's happening. But that's happening all the time. I mean, the majority of your dust in your house is, is dead skin cells. That's kind of gross too, right? But it's, it's their protein. So the dander of your animals that you have in the house, pets, uh, which would involve cats and dogs, obviously, or whatever else you got. And Lord knows I don't want to know for some of you. But there's proteins that are coming in, right? So here comes this protein. It's microscopic, okay? And you breathe it in. Oop, it goes up the nasal passage and it goes up inside here up into the sinus or you can it can go into the mouth and into your body and what happens is that protein when it embeds somewhere your body reacts in a sense it almost overreacts it immediately calls out the troops and everybody comes in and they start attacking this protein now what happens is you get a lot of chemical response, right? One of the ways that your body in the mucosal membranes, which is like your mouth, why do they call them mucosal membranes? Well, they're red, right? Which means they have a lot of 
blood vessels. He's got a lot of vascularity that go to him. And that means, they, why do they do that? Because they make a lot of mucus. Mucus is made by cells by extracting fluid from your circulatory system. Your blood has a lot of water in it, right? So it takes that, it's, it has some cells, they take the water, they take some other enzymes, and they make mucus, okay? So histamine makes mucus. It causes the body to make mucus. And why? It's because the mucus is trying to cleanse your body out. So when you come in contact with something that you're allergic to, especially up in here or in the mouth, what happens? Your body starts making a massive amount of mucus to cleanse itself. It's trying to get it out. So you start getting a runny nose. Why would you sneeze? Your body's actually creating a, a reaction. A chew, it's the fastest movement in the human body up to 200 miles an hour. Tell me that's not phenomenal. And boom, you're sneezing and you're trying to kick these proteins out or viruses or whatever you've, whatever's invaded your body. So your body's intelligence says, hey, look, I don't want this in me. So this, that protein, these proteins, are in these nasal passages in your mouth. The more you breathe in, the more the reaction. So you get something, maybe I'm allergic to ragweed, doesn't bug me much, but boy, I go out and hit the lawn with a lawnmower, and oh my God, I'm like, I, I can't even breathe because you, you've accumulated so much more protein. Maybe I've got an allergy to cats, I usually don't struggle too much with it, but if, it, if the cat stays in my bed or the dog stays in my, my bedroom, boy, I'm, start, I'm just gonna start to have a lot of trouble with it. Okay, so that's essentially what an allergy is. So if you know there's a mechanical means, this, right, the protein, if you can improve how the body responds to that and eliminate some of the proteins, you're going to do really well. So we're, we're running out of time here, so let's talk about that. How can I help myself out? Well, one, depending on what kind of heat you got. If you got hot forced air in the house, you want to put little filters in all the registers that blow heat in and the register that blows heat out. You also want to make sure you keep the filter clean in the furnace. But in the bedroom, if you can keep the, the, the air coming in, cut a little piece and put it on the end, change it every month. You can wash them or whatever. That'll help with the air coming in and it'll filter the air from the room going out, allows you to get a lot cleaner in the room. You can get an ozonator for the room. You plug it in an outlet for your bedroom where you spend a lot of time. Two, you can wrap your bed in hypoallergenic wraps with the pillow and the sheets and or the bed mattress and make sure you clean your sheets a little bit more frequently. That's really important. Another uh, tip, you don't want to have carpeting in the house. A lot of carpeting collects an enormous amount of dust and waste materials of the body and, and, and dirt and dander and so forth. So what you like to do is have, you know, a, a hardwood floor is always best. Clean them. They stay cleaner. You can see when they're dusty, easier to clean it. Much healthier for you. On the body end, you want to make sure that you're using a saline wash. You hear about a nutty pot and so forth, but that's really for the pros. They sell a nice mist. It's saline. It's water. Now, why would that benefit you? Because you're going to take this and you're going to wash it out every day, a couple times a day. It washes the protein count out. So it keeps the count low. You want to make sure you're on a flaxseed, an omega-3 oil. Flaxseed or fish oil, I like fish oil better than flax. You can do a combination of both, but the omega-3 oil is a natural anti-inflammatory. What does that do? It calms the body down, it calms the inflammation in the body down, and allows the, or, or prevents the mucosal membranes from eh, really getting crazy. A lot of water, when you drink water, if you drink a ton of water, what happens? You're gonna have to pee, right? Why do you have to go to the bathroom more? Well because your kidneys are filtering more of the fluid out. So everything you put in your mouth gets in the circulatory system, has to be filtered out by the kidney, and therefore it allows your uh, body to, to stay cleaner. Also, staying away from foods that are uh, uh, processed foods, they increase the inflammatory response. So white flour, white sugar, and so forth. Other health kicks that we talked about, really important. And lastly, adjustments. When the nervous system runs like it's supposed to be, your body has less sensitivity to the allergy. So what the heck does that mean? The reaction of the body is usually overreacting to the body. So if the nervous system is doing exactly what it's supposed to, if all the messages are going from the brain to the sinuses, brain to the body, to the organs and so forth, your body's not gonna respond abnormally or incorrectly and therefore the body will be better able to handle any of the proteins that come in. So I see a lot of the people that get adjusted regularly have a lot better response in the allergy season. They usually don't have any allergies or the, their, their allergy response is significantly lowered. And then if they take on some of the other advice, while well, they're really doing great.
Guys, we're out of time. This has been Dr. Joe Borio with this week's health kick. Remember, make sure you, your mother, your father, your grandfather, your uncle, your babies right after birth, everyone you know is under regular chiropractic care for life to make sure their nervous system is working just like the way they're supposed to. Don't forget about this week's, or I'm sorry, March 24th for our nutri nutrition workshop. Man, I can't get the words out today. I'm so excited. Have a great week. Take great care of yourself and your family. Hopefully I see you soon in my office. Have a great one, guys.